Hello, my name is James, and I am super excited to take a minute to tell you guys about the latest release of the events calendar. Uh, we're calling it the events calendar 6.0. This is a pretty big release, uh, a lot of cool features. Uh, with this release, you're going to notice faster event editing on the back end. You're going to notice faster calendar loading on the front end. Uh, for pro users, we have advanced recurring event save options. We have a new series post type, um, an event duplication tool, which is really cool. Um, you can now create complex event series containing any combination of single and recurring events and display them all together on a customizable series landing page. So think about uh, having a series full of events that have different venues, different organizers, different content, but they all exist in, a, in the same series. So that's really cool. Um, all of these new features do rely on massive changes under the hood, including a brand new event data storage system. So you must migrate your existing events to the new system in order to take advantage of these tools. Now, the good news is it's not a, it's not a very hard process. It only takes a couple minutes. We even have a video that walks you through the process. Um, really, you just have to click a few buttons and it usually takes about five minutes or less, depending on how many events you have, um, to migrate them to the new system. So make sure you do that in order to take advantage of all the features I just mentioned, as well as all the features that we plan on adding in the future. And trust me, we are planning on adding some really cool features in the future. So um, thanks for checking out this video, guys. I hope you're as excited about 6.0 as I am, and I'll see you in the next video.